We're at 41 patients now in our data. You basically do a baseline PAT and then raise the leg for two minutes. And then I take a PAT as the leg is raised and it can stay the same or get worse. But then when you lay the leg flat again, you do an immediate post and see how fast they recover. And what does that tell you? The intent is to determine whether the collateral pathways are robust enough to not fall short when doing minimal changes in the level of the extremity. And so we use that to then extrapolate it into the PAT exercise, all with the intention of saying, is the single perineal intervention enough or not? Because you hear these rather black and white stances on podiums where people say, more is better. I mean, I'm sure that if you open three vessels, it's great, but what about radiation to the team? What about contrast? What about the fact that you sedate a patient for more than 45 minutes and you lose the battle because they're all over the place? So there's all these other reasons to say, if we can do one vessel intervention that is successful and you can prove that there's a success by a hemodynamic dynamic stress that leads to show that that one vessel is collateralized enough to the metatarsal artery, then you can probably secure your result.